don't get that right. Uh, so you you've been been pretty you've been pretty candid with us during your evidence, um, and you've expressed it a number of times that with the benefit of hindsight, um, there may well have been things that ASEC would have uh, done differently. Um, yes. Particularly with the with the wisdom of the previous with, with the subsequent uh, uh, judgment that was uh, the legacy judgment that was issued. Um, now I've had and I suspect Senator Pratt and Senator Scar. Um, I've had uh, a number of communications and emails and phone calls from individuals that have been affected by the Sterling First debacle, um, and the level of distress is. It is profound. These are people that feel like they did the right thing, uh, that they try to kind of do what everybody thinks you should do, which is secure your home in retirement, um, and are now on the verge of homelessness with no particular, no no clear path of recourse. Um, putting aside the question of uh, compensation, which may well be a, 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 a it is a question for, for government and potentially the a recommendation of the inquiry, reflecting on on where we are now and the role that ASIC played, uh, are you able to offer to the victims of this situation an apology on behalf of um, ASIC? An apology? Mm. The, uh, well, I think the original... In, um, as, as, as Commissioner Armour said, uh, at ASIC, we do our best to look out for people who make investments. And I'm now going to use that word. Um, so these individuals tragically made um, an investment. They signed a lease that was linked to an investment. And that um, proved to be something that um, we now all know uh, led to great losses for them personally. I do not think it's appropriate for me, it's emotionally inappropriate for me to say that ASIC should be apologising for that. I think what ASIC can say is that we've um, tried to respond to the issues that have been brought to our attention, we've tried to act in good faith, we've tried to be helpful to secure the interests of investors, but we now know that the tenant investors um, got caught up in a scheme that was um, wasn't sustainable. You know, it didn't work, and so so I think that's something that we all have to reflect.